Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining me for this episode of Conquering Math. I'm Pat Long, and this is problem of the day number one, the gift wrap problem. As a reminder, this is the solutions video to problem number one, so if you haven't done it yet, you might want to pause the video, check the links below um, so that you can grab a copy of the problem, try it out yourself before you check the answers. So problem of the day number one, um, you are wrapping a gift box for your friend's birthday. The box is a rectangular prism that is six inches long, eight inches wide, and three inches tall. How much wrapping paper will you need in order to cover the box, ignoring overlap, and then justify your answer? So I'm just going to shrink this down a little bit before I get started, so I have some room to work here. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that you can solve this problem. There's, of course, a formula that you could just use and plug it in, um, but you can also draw a picture. You could get out some cardboard and kind of measure it out. You might need to cut it a little bit. Um, you could get different pieces of paper and cut them to the proper sizes and try to figure it out. So I've chosen to just include a picture here. So we've got a rectangular prism here off to the side, um, and you'll notice it has the dimensions 8 inches, 6 inches, and 3 inches. Um, and I know a lot of times we put the length in front, but since my front was the long side, I went ahead and labeled that as 8 inches. Um, if you notice, for a rectangular prism, it's made up of a bunch of rectangles. And for this problem, since wrapping paper goes around the outside, we want the surface area of the prism. A uh, common problem with this common mistake with this type of problem is to use the volume instead of the surface area. Um, so we're going with the surface area, and a rectangular prism is a, also known as a box, is made up of six rectangles um, connected to form the 3D shape that we know. So to find the area of a rectangle, kind of important, we need to know that the area of a rectangle is the length um, times the width. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find the areas of each of the individual rectangles um, and then we can add them up and, and that'll give us the answer. Since we have three pairs of rectangles here, we only have to find the area of each pair once and then we'll include it in the answer. So I'll start with the top and bottom. And so the top and bottom are the same. So we've got the top and the bottom. And I like to put a little two here next to it to help me remember that later on I need to use this twice. Um, so again, we have area equals length times width, just like we set up above. Um, so in this case, the area is going to be um, the length over here was six inches and the width was eight inches. That's for the top and the bottom. Um, so we have six inches times eight inches for an area of 48 square inches. All right, and so remember later on, we're gonna to need to use two of those. Um, so next up, we'll do the, the front and the back. And you can feel free to abbreviate these when you do it. So front and back. Um, again, we have area equals length times width. In this case, um, it'll actually be the, I wrote it as the width and the height of the larger shape. So I'm going to go ahead and just write that this time, width times height. Um, and so we'll go ahead and use that same idea. Uh, the width is eight inches and the height is three inches. And so if you multiply those together, you get 24 square inches. And finally, we need to find the left and right. So I'm just going to abbreviate that for now. And this time, since we called this the length and this is the height, I'll write uh, length times height. So the area is going to be six inches times three inches. In other words, it is 18, oops, forgot my equal sign, 18 square inches. Now remember for each of these, we need two, which I didn't put here. So that's two and that's two. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll find the surface area, which we use a capital S for surface area. So we need to add 48 square inches, 24 square inches, and 18 square inches to find the surface area, but we need to use each of those twice. So we can either add them all up and then double it, um, or double each one individually. Um, this time I'm going to double them all together. So I'll multiply two times, and then in parentheses, we have 48 plus 24 plus 18. And that brings us to a grand total for our surface area 
of, if you add all these up, you get 90 times two is 180. And area is two dimensional, so it is 180 square inches. And that is our answer. So the problem does say to justify your answer, which I've been doing as I've been talking, um, but if you were to write it down or if this was a problem you were doing in class and you needed to justify your answer, you might say something along the lines of the top and bottom each need 48 square inches of paper, the front and back each need 18 square inches of paper, and the left and right each need 24 square inches of paper for a total of 180 square inches of wrapping paper with no overlap. Um, I hope this helps. Of course, you can pause and rewind this video as necessary to kind of help you understand this problem. Um, but also, let's take a look at the problem of the day for tomorrow. So problem of the day number two is a track race. Runner A runs three laps around the track in five minutes. Runner B runs five laps around the track in seven minutes. Your friend says that at these speeds, runner B will run 15 laps faster than runner A. Do you agree with your friend? And explain. So once again, take a look down below for links to the uh, PDF. You can print it out, write right on it, or just grab a piece of paper and um, work on the problem there. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Problem of the Day on Conquering Math, where it all adds up.